I'm John Finnegan, and I'm here to talk about decision making. Now, we are often under enormous pressure and uh, speed uh, to make sure that we deliver our decisions quickly that get great results. Now, how do we do this? One method is to use the OODA loop, double O D A. The OODA loop is a model uh, designed and created by an American Air Force Colonel, John Boyd, after observing the success of the American fighters against the Russian MiG planes. Now, although the Russian planes were faster and could turn better, the American fighters <coughs> had greater vision. And this gave them an advantage, uh, which he then uh, turned into a model that often is now used in business to make much better decisions. Now, the OODA loop stands for, number one, observe. Number two, orient. Number three, decide. Number four, act. Part one, observe. It's important then to collect as many facts, and I mean facts, as possible. Uh, unbiased information wherever possible is obviously great. So collect as much data as you possibly can, opinions, facts, figures, whatever is necessary that you think you might need to make a decision, and from as many sources as possible. It's great to, often we skip this process, and unfortunately don't seek enough, or get enough, or collect enough information. This is crucial in making that decision-making process. Part two, orient. And what this really means is analysing all the data you find in the context of the situation that you're in. Analysing and understanding, ready for the next process, which is coming up with, or making the decision, but you need to come up with a set of options. So, a set of choices. So, in the anal analysation of that information, you need to take into account all sorts of things. Uh, but also, most importantly, your own perceptions and how those might be limited and how narrow you may be making those options based on your own experiences, your own cultural traditions. And maybe one way to think about it is using the McKinsey 7S model of taking into the seven uh, things <coughs> that we think about when uh, considering putting things into place in an organisation, whether it's structure, staff, skills, and so on and so forth. So the 7S model may be an extra one to look at in this situation. But orient in this situation really means analysing the facts and information that you have and coming up with some choices. Part three, decide. There are obviously various models out there to help you make those decisions, whether it's more rational mathematical models that can add weighting and numbers to your decision making process. But deciding, weighing up everything from your range of options, is now your next key stage. And of course, that is important, and you can do that from all sorts of angles, whether it's emotional, whether it's rational, whether it's sensible, logical, all sorts of things con can contribute to that process. But it's important that in often in many situations, you make those choices from your options quickly. Part three, act. So now you've made your decision, act on it. Take your actions, whatever they are required, and do it. Simply do it. But of course then, the cycle then goes back to the beginning, and you start to observe and collect data about the consequences of your actions. For every action, there is always a set of consequences, one or more. And that is obviously part of the uh, orientation section, part two, of thinking about the consequences when we are making our decisions. So part four is act, get on, do it. <laughs>